where's the cheapest place to get welding rods? You'd be surprised. This week on Kayak Hacks. Now that it's time to do mid-season repair on the bow of my kayak, I'm faced with the challenge of where to get the HDPE. Well, this time I'd like to use some welding rods to lay down a nice cover over another piece of metal grate that I'm going to put right here. So I went out to the internet and saw that for $14 I could buy a 10-pack of Hobie welding rods that were each 10.5 inches long. And this is what that looks like. I didn't buy them because I got a better deal. But here's what 10, 10.5 inch rods looks like. It's 105 inches of welding rods. To me, that seemed like a lot to pay for HDPE that just comes in milk cartons and every place else. So I went out to Amazon and I looked for 3 16 inch rods that will fit my Hobie Welder Pro and found that for 17 bucks, I could get a pound of welding rods. This is what a pound looks like. You think that's a better deal? Then a couple spindy rods. Look at all these things. This is a lifetime supply. Granted, the shipping is different. For the 10 pack, it was about five bucks, and for the pound, it was about seven dollars and ten cents. But will these work as well as the Hobie rods I initially used to repair my bow? That's what we're going to find out. Right now. Probably shouldn't have picked a real hot day to do this, but I figured it was too hot to go fishing, so may as, may as well go ahead and do some repair work. And the first thing I need to do is tack this metal screen down into the existing plastic. First thing to note is that they fit perfectly into this welder. And it looks like as long as I go slow, they flow out exactly like the welding rods that came with this Hobie Welder Pro. The secret to doing these welding rods is to not try and go fast. So I'm going to lay down a layer of this on top of this grate and then I'll be good to go. Yep, and that's my sweat dripping. The heat index today is probably 112. Finish the sanding, hit it with the heat gun, squished all the fuzzies in. This thing is ready to go. Fresh piece of metal built in there. And those generic welding rods perform just fine. I see no reason to buy the more expensive ones unless, of course, you need to match the color. These only come in white. Frankly, I don't care what my kayak looks like as long as it gets me to fish. Comments, suggestions on how to do this better? Take care.